All right, here we have a 2005 Subaru Legacy. We're gonna show you how to remove the stock head unit or radio. Uh, I'm gonna do it, so I wanna install one of these little gadgets. It takes your positive and negative of your right and left speaker in the rear and converts it to RCA so you can run an amp to power a subwoofer. All right, the tools you're gonna need is just a Phillips and flathead screwdriver or a panel tool just to remove some of the push on clips. All right, first you wanna take that flat screwdriver or panel tool Remove the shifter bezel, just pry up on it loosely and pop those little plastic clips up. Should slide back out of the track up top. And then you're gonna have to undo the shift knob and then you should be able to remove that part. So once you get the shift knob up, you can lift that bezel and flip it up on its side like this. You're gonna notice there's one clip here. This is what powers the cigarette lighter. So we need to disconnect that. Just squeeze the tab, should pull that apart. With that, we can move it out of the way. Next, we're gonna move these two Phillips screws, left and right. All right, now that we remove those two screws, we can remove those pieces left and right. So for this, you just want to pull up on it a little bit, pop it up and over the edge, it shouldn't make that noise. Then you want to pull straight back. It should just pop out. There's three little push pins that hold it in position. We'll set that one aside. We'll do the same thing the other side. Lift it up, up over the edge, pull straight back. There you go, that one's done. All right, so with those silver tabs removed left and right, it'll expose the screws that hold the radio in position. Uh, so we're going to remove this top one. There's one way in the back in there. There's this one right here, and there's this one right here. There'll be four on the other side in the same positions. We remove those eight screws, and we should be able to slide the radio out a little bit. All right, so we're going to slide the right side, or passenger side, out first. We're going to disconnect this little push clip here to disconnect our hazard button. Next, we'll move down. We'll take these two black screws out here. That'll align the climate control part to stay in the car. We'll do the same on the other side, removing those two black screws. Then we're gonna push that out by pulling these little black tabs, pushing in the control with our thumb, and it should slide out and back into the car. All right, so as you can see, I separated the climate control from the radio bezel, pushed it back inside the car. Uh, next, we wanna disconnect this white plug, this black plug, and the little ground. They're just little push pins. You might wanna use a little screw, flat screwdriver for the ground plug. Sometimes it really sticks on there. Uh, then we'll be able to move the radio more towards the driver's side floorboard. That'll allow me to find the wires I need within the harness to do this splice. All right, I removed the white and black clip in the ground, swung the radio onto the driver's floorboard. I've also removed the tape around the harness so we can separate them out to figure out which leads I need. Um, I'll post a little diagram at the bottom of what colors you need. But you're gonna need the left rear, which is uh, white and red, the positive side. The uh, negative of that would be red and black. Uh, the right rear, which is blue and yellow for the positive, And the negative is the red white. Um, they're already taped together from Subaru, so you can, they're easy to find once you know the two colors. Uh, I'm going to do the splice, and we'll be able to put it back together. Alright, as you can see, I finished splicing in the speaker wires. Uh, next, we're going to need a remote wire to turn on the amp. Uh, it's going to be the yellow with the little black tracer. Um, in the world of manufacturers, they call it a power antenna uh, wire. So we're going to splice into that. That will turn our amp on and off with our ignition switch. That way when the key is off, the amp is off, and we're not drawing and killing the battery. All right, I'm finished installing the remote wire for the amp. Um, I've reconnected the stereo. I'm going to give it a quick test just to make sure before I button it up. Turn it on accessory. Power the radio up. Turn the bass up to make sure it's working. Looks like it's working, so we're good. So we're just going to re redo the process in reverse to reinstall. So we're going to push the climate control in, make sure those tabs are clicked in, put those four screws in, slide the whole assembly back in, put those eight screws back in that hold the climate control and radio bezel here on the side in. Then we'll slide those two silver pieces on left and right, put those two screws down here that hold them in. Then we'll reinstall our shifter knob bezel, turn our shifter knob on, and we should be all set.